Hey guys, in this video I will be taking a look at Linux Mint 14. In the left virtual machine I am running the Mate graphical user interface, whereas in the right virtual machine I am running the Cinnamon graphical user interface. Um, I will quickly go over the um, basic history of them both. Um, Mate is basically a fork of GNOME 2. Um, a lot of people weren't happy with GNOME 3 when it first came out, so they decided to, you know, fork it into Mate. And um, Cinnamon is actually based on the base code of GNOME 3. Um, it, however, has more of a GNOME 2 appearance. Uh, so in this video, I will just be comparing them to each other. Um, there actually aren't too many differences. Most of them are just a couple of um, minor cosmetic things. So let's get stuck into it. The first thing you will probably notice once um, installing Linux Mint or um, running it off of a live CD is the wallpaper. Uh, they have had this wallpaper for quite a while now. I think it's about time they change it. I'm pretty sure they have had this since... Um, version 11 or 12 from memory, they just keep updating the number. <clears throat> so first of all, let's just take a look at the taskbar at the bottom. Uh, the bottom taskbar in um, Mate has the menu button in the bottom left hand corner. I believe that you are even able to rename it from memory. Uh, I can't remember how you do it. So you used to be able to actually rename it from menu to something else. Ah uh, yeah, so for example, I could just rename it to Mark Stuff or something like that. It's pretty cool how you can do that. Uh, we have the Show Desktop button. Um, all of your open windows obviously appear in the middle here. Um, it's basically telling me that my system is up to date. I fully updated both of these, um, you know, operating systems um, or both of these installs before doing this um, video. We have our volume control over here. I believe that this is networking. Uh, we basically have the day, the date, and the time in the right-hand corner here. And obviously, when you click on um, click on it, there the calendar pops up with locations just above it. Uh, so that's basically the task bar in uh, Mate. Now let's take a look at the task bar in Cinnamon. You also have the menu in the left-hand corner. Um, I'm not sure if you can rename the menu or not. Uh, probably not. Let's just see. Ah, actually, I think you can. I haven't tried doing it in the past um, in Cinnamon. You know, obviously, there's no point really doing it. It's just a bit of fun. I believe that you can change the icon too. You know, if you want to make your computer um, your own, then you can, you know, change little things like that, which is pretty neat. You know, that's just the flexibility of Linux, which a lot of people like. We also have the Show Desktop button. We also have a few pinned uh, maps here, you know, Firefox, the Terminal, and the File Manager. Uh, I believe notifications appear here. Uh, we have a Settings pop-up here. Um, and you can toggle, you know, pa you know, you can toggle the Panel Edit Mode. And we also appear to have a Troubleshooting and a Settings submenu here. Uh, I believe this is just networking again, volume control. Uh, I believe that this is the battery um, or, you know, power management icon. This isn't a laptop, so I'm not sure why it's displaying by default. And the system is fully updated. Once again, um, we have the um, day, the date and the time in the right hand corner. And it pops up with a slightly different looking calendar. And what is this? Um, oh, this must just um, display all of the currently open windows. Now let's compare the actual menus. Um, a lot of people like the menu in Linux Mint. Um, this menu, I'm pretty sure, is unique to Linux Mint. So we have places on, you know, in the top left-hand corner, and we have system in the bottom left-hand corner. Places in the top left-hand corner is just all of your different folders on the system, basically. And system has things like, you know, the control panel, the terminal, options to turn the computer off, to log out, to lock the screen, etc. And then we have all of your favorites here, the web browser, email client, message client, media player, and a few other things. I believe that you are able to easily change them. You know, we have the search bar here where you can obviously search for applications. Um, and you can obviously switch between the favorites um, sort of screen to the all application screen. And you have all of these different categories, all accessories, graphics, internet, office, sound and video, system tools, administration and preferences. 
Uh, so that's pretty much the menu in Mate. I will take a look at the applications later. Now let's take a look at the menu in Cinnamon. Um, I actually prefer the menu in Cinnamon. I personally think it's a bit more modern. Um, I've always liked the one in Mate or, you know, the older versions of just the normal um, Linux Mint. The one, I think it's starting to look a little bit outdated now, or that, that's just um, me personally. So you pretty much have all of your favourites here um, and, you know, your options to turn off, log out, lock the computer. And um, you have all of your categories here and the apps in the categories. Um, so they're both pretty similar, um, except you don't have the favourites page. So you can set up this menu to open up on the applications um, page automatically anyhow, though I personally prefer the design of this one. You can obviously also search at the top. Oops. So yeah, I personally um, just prefer that menu. Now let's take a look at the default applications. I believe that they are identical. They're, it's just the um, graphical user interfaces that are different. The actual applications are more or less the same. You know, they both have Firefox, Pigeon, Thunderbird, Transmission, whoops, um, and XChat. Um, Cinnamon also has desktop sharing, though I imagine that the Mate one does too. It might just be in a different category. Let me check. Well, it might not have it, though the application differences are going to be very minor. Both of them will obviously have LibreOffice, which is, you know, more or less the industry standard for Linux distributions, um, sound and video. All the categories have the same names too, really. Uh, sound and video, you know, they both have Banshee, you know, the Banshee Media Player, Gnome M Player, Movie Player, VLC Media Player, etc. So all of the default applications are identical. So really it's just um, the interface might be slightly different. The one um, different thing, I believe, is the file managers. Uh, let's see, in Mate, we have Kaja. I'm, I'm not sure if that's how it's been, how it's um, pronounced. Um, though it sounds like Kaja version 1.4.0. Whereas in Cinnamon we have Nemo 1.1.2. So they're slightly different um, file managers out of the box. I think that um, the Nemo one, you know, looks a bit more stylish. Not that that's too important, and that can be easily changed anyhow. Um, so yeah, there aren't too many more major differences. So because um, the Cinnamon, um, you know, graphical user interface is based on GNOME 3, some menus look a bit more modern. Like when you right click, you know, it looks a bit more modern um, in Cinnamon. Um, and you know, a lot of the menu structures for settings etc. look different. For example, if I go to change desktop background here and here, they are more or less in different areas, the actual settings. Uh, so here um, in Cinnamon, I have um, the option to change backgrounds. So if I go back to all the settings, there is actually a Cinnamon settings control panel, which can also be accessed from here. Um, so yeah, um, you basically have um, separate settings. Um, whereas if you, you know, um, go to change the desktop background in um, Mate, that is um, just basically um, the appearance settings that it brings up um, and they still have um, you know the old um, control center where you manage all of the settings um, from there so you know the actual control panels are a bit different between the um, you know two different graphical user interfaces but all in all they're both very similar to one another it's a matter of personal preference um, which one you want to use um, you know, I recommend using both of them. They're both very similar. So if I was to install Linux Mint tomorrow on a new computer, I personally would probably um, go for Cinnamon. Though, as I said before, the differences are pretty minor. The Cinnamon is also based more off of the base code of GNOME 3, whereas um, Mate is based off of the base code of GNOME 2. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Tell me what you think in the description below. Um, you know, if you use Linux Mint, are you currently using the Mate or the Cinnamon graphical user interface? Or if you're going to install it, which one are you more likely to use? So yeah, that's it for this video. Like the um, video if you found it helpful or enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe to my account for all of my future Linux videos. And thanks for watching.